Well, good day, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Simply Espresso, coming to you from the northeast of Scotland. So today we're going to be doing a roast um, on my um, Comorant uh, CR600 Electric. Um, I got this a while back, probably a couple of months back now, actually, and I've just been testing it out and just trying different things. Um, and um, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to roast today um, a Colombian, it's an anaerobic, and this one is from um, a Colombian Spirit. Um, as you can see, I've got my uh, CR600 electric to, um, hooked up to a laptop to, uh, for artisan use. And as you can see, I'm roasting indoors in my kitchen. And um, as you can see, the piping just leads outside into the back there. Um, right, so the um, the the machine is just um, heating up at the moment. Um, it's currently bean temperature of 94 degrees. So what I'll do is I'll just pause here and we'll just wait uh, a wee bit. Um, I've already weighed out the 600 grams of beans. Um, what are my plans for this roast? Well, we're going to do a slow roast. Um, I aim for about 13 to 14 minutes. Um, the um, yeah, development time towards the end, we'll have to wait and see. Um, because this is an anaerobic coffee, an, an anaerobic coffee, sorry, um, you generally want to uh, keep it uh, quite light, I would imagine. Um, well, I found the best results for this particular bean to be light to medium. Um, so we'll see uh, what we get. Um, but anyway, when I come back, the heater or the roaster will be ready to to start, and um, we'll see what happens. Okay, cheers. Right, so whilst the heater or the roaster is um, heating up, um, I thought I'd just go over some of the settings that I've got. I don't know if you can really see it, it's very, very bright in here today. Um, yeah, yeah, difficult to see. So I've got the, um, the fan sitting at about 7, the drum speed is about uh, 4.6, 4.5, and my power is at about 12.30. Now, um, this is recommended by the um, the guy who designed this, Johan, to have your um, your warm-ups uh, heated about 1250 power. So I've got it there just now. Um, so yeah, I thought I would just give those settings uh, back in a bit. And these are the beans that I'll be using for my roast. So as you can see, 600 grams uh, Colombian uh, washed anaerobic. I've uh, forgotten the name or the specific producer of this, but I got this from Colombian Spirit last year, and I'm down to virtually nothing. And this, after this roast, I don't think I don't even know if there's enough for a full roast here. Um, but yeah, the, this is a very nice coffee, guys. Um, just quite fruity and um, just highly enjoyable. Anyway, you can edit here as well. Yeah, so as you can see, the bean temperature is now sitting at 180, so it's probably a good idea to load the beans. I want to do a charge at about 190 degrees. Alright, so that's the beans in. What we're going to do is we're just going to increase the fan speed. It's about 10. There you can see bean temperature 185, so as I say, charge is going to be about 190. Just going to pause for a sec. Alright, so that's at about 190, so we're going to start Artisan and we'll start the roast. So that's the starting. As you can see, this is not going to be the best. Yeah, I can't really get it. There we go. So as you can see, there's our charge. Charge is at 190.8 degrees Celsius. And when turning point hits, 
We're going to increase the drum speed a wee bit. It is a bit warmer in here today because it's now summer here, and so turning point could be say about 70 odd. And I'm coming to 72.8. Turning point 71.4 degrees Celsius. So we're just going to increase the drum speed a wee bit. And we've got a drum speed at 12.5. So if I can get a shot of the actual screen. And you can see the beans are turning. And what we'll do is we'll increase the drum speed again. And that's now two minutes into the roast. So I'm going to increase fan speed ever so slightly. The fan speed is actually extremely delicate. We'll stick at 7.3. And we'll increase the power now up to about 1600. As you can see, bean temperature is sitting at 102 degrees now. I don't know about how the quality is going to be on this, guys. It's quite difficult to do all these things at once. You probably need static cameras or something. So once the bean temperature hits 110 degrees Celsius, we'll increase the drum speed again. To four. There it is, 110. So drum speed all the way to 14.8, 14.9. And that's basically it. Here's the rate of, here you can see, you oh, might be able to see the rate of rise. Yeah. So what we're going to do is, after, I would say, probably the next three, four minutes, we're probably going to start decreasing the heat and the power. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I'm just going to let this roll. I know it's going to be a bit boring now because not much happening. So bean temperature, first crack should be about 190, 195 degrees Celsius. That's when we should start getting first crack. Yeah, what do I think of this machine so far? Well, um, there's a couple of issues that I do have with it. Um, notably the um, infrared tubes that are installed. Um, I've had two that have uh, blown already, and um, I also had one 
time where the machine tripped my mains, which was a problem whilst, you know, mid-roast, coming into first, first track. Um, Johannes kindly sent me some more tubes, and he is working on a further designs. I've got no doubt in my mind that uh, this is just simply some issues that need ironing out, and I um, really hope that uh, um, in time he'll be able to give us a, well, in time it will be, you know, nothing's perfect in life, but um, so as you can see, temperature coming on right, in temperature 135 degrees, 136. There's my rate of rate of rise. As you can see, I haven't changed anything with the power. It's still sitting at about 1600. Uh, what about the light in here, guys? It is a wild day outside. Really, really hot. moment the uh, estimate for uh, first pack is about 13 minutes and um, we'll have to wait and see with that and it's about yeah, 144 degrees now so as I said 190 I'm going for about seven minutes now 190 is where we'll start to hear some cracking I think Now, one thing I want to talk about whilst uh, this is roasting is some questions you might have. I mean, does this do back-to-back -back roasting? Um, I honestly don't think it is quite. Um, it takes a while for the temperature to come down. I mean, you get all measures that you can do to bring the temperature of the unit down. But <clears throat> as far as back-to-back -back roasting goes, you're probably going to have to let it uh, go down just a wee bit uh, before you start uh, roasting again. Things are coming along the right. But yeah, one thing I will say about this machine, it is beautiful, uh, absolutely stunning. And um, yeah, the results I've been getting in the cup have been really good. Um, I'm probably going to be selling off my Cafe Logic soon because I'm quite happy with what I've been getting in the cup with this, with this machine so far. That's quite late for first crack, but uh, I'll take it. Popping the temperature down just a wee bit to decrease the power. Mm. That's 1500, we're just below 1500. not the greatest. It was flat, it's not really declining as it should be. I think one of the things I forgot to do was increase the power straight away with my, with my roast. Um, normally I would increase it up to 1600 straight away. Um, but yeah, we're now approaching 170. And we won't be roasting this long past first crack, so development time will be a bit less. And percentage wise but um, as I said before the you know, most important thing is how it tastes I am finding that um, 
with a slower roast, I'm finding the, the result quite good on this roaster. So I want to keep that momentum um, trying out slower roast. Alright, so that's 175 now. Bring down power just a little bit more. As you can see, we're approaching that 190. Total roast time of 11 minutes and 44 seconds so far. As we approach, approach uh, first track, I'm going to bring down the power just a little bit more. difficult to see because of all this light I'm getting, natural light from the sun. As you can see, approaching this track, you can see the rate of rise is starting to rise again. So we'll just decrease the power again. As you can see, first start of, first start of popping. Track. Down the power some more. Probably going to have to pause soon because it's quite difficult to, you need two hands with us. <laughs> so we're now approaching, oh there we go, steady. Let's go down a wee bit more. Let's actually switch it off now because the power is completely off. As you can see, a bit of a drop there. What they call a crash. I'm going to wait till about 205 degrees and then I'll drop the beans. Development time is quite short, but I don't really choose development time. I, I go for more by the, the bean temperature. All right, so I'm just going to pause here whilst I drop the beans, okay? There you go. That's the beans now dropped. And I think I've got a medium, I would say light to medium, light medium roast on this. Difficult to see in the natural light here, but quite even roast. That's one thing I do like about the Comorant, is I found the roast quite even. That noise you can hear is the fan sitting at full speed now, so I've increased the fan speed to 12.5. And this is now the cooling process. And I say it does look very, very even. I tend to turn it like that, just get all the beans cool. The cooling process is about three minutes. Yeah, that's one bean that's not quite done. 
yeah, generally very even roast on this one. I found that um, with this anaerobic in particular, you shouldn't go too light. Normally with anaerobics, I tend to go quite light. But um, on this one, I try to go for a more light medium. difficult to do one for things at the same time. Anyway, um, it's probably just boring these swirling beans. But yeah, quite happy with that. Anyway, I'm going to pause here guys. Once I've done, um, and when we come back I'll do a quick tasting of this. Quick cupping as I say. Well, I don't really have a cupping set but as you can see, final. There's the rate of rise there. Not perfect, obviously. This is more just a test. And as you can see, so it does take a while for that temperature to come down. So you can't do back-to-back -back roasting on this machine, in my opinion. You have to wait till it gets down to about 150, 140 degrees on the analog temperature gauge, which is right here. Um, but yeah, I definitely wouldn't recommend trying or doing a back-to-back -back roast, you know, once this goes down to back to 190, um, I would wait until it gets to about 150. Anyway, so that's the roast. So drop time was about 14 minutes, 40 seconds, which is a bit longer than what I normally do. Only aim for about 13 minutes. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with how that's uh, come out. Uh, looking quite even, and as I say, I'd say light to medium, medium light roast. Anyway, back back soon. Right guys, so that's the roast all done now. And um, I've ground some coffee, some of the beans for um, putting in the AeroPress. And as you can see, I mean, it's difficult to say in the light, but I, I would suggest that that's, that's light, actually. Um, not quite medium, or medium light. It's probably not quite, it's not super light, but it's not, you know, it's light, but I would say more light to medium than just light. I've had a lot, lot lighter coffees in the past, especially from Scandinavian countries. Yeah, so anyway, so that's that. And let's show the beans again quickly. So yeah, difficult to see that. Oh, well, that's a better shot. So yeah, I would say yeah, I would say the beans have come out almost light, well, quite lightish. Not quite the medium light I was looking for, I think. But um, as I said before, it's the proof is in the tasting. Still very, very even roast. Could have maybe gone for a little bit longer development towards the end there. But um, I'm still happy with how it's turned out. Um, so next we'll just do, do a quick tasting on the AeroPress. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay guys, so that's me back. So I've just done a quick uh, steep in the AeroPress. Um, 18 grams of coffee, and we steep for about two minutes. And as you can see, there's the results again. So I'm, in, I'm happy with how even it is. As I say, it probably needs, maybe it's slightly more development time, I think. But overall, I'm happy with that roast. Let's have a wee taste of the, the coffee. Sorry about the childish mug, of course. Mmm, clean, caramel sweetness coming through straight away, some citrus on the side, a little bit of acidity, mmm, it's very nice, I mean, obviously it'll need a few days rest, at least, but I always think it's important to, to try the coffee first, as soon as you finish roasting it, it gives you an idea of what flavours to expect, and it also gives you um, an idea of how things will develop and how things change and how things get better as you let the beans rest. Let's have another sip, see if I can pick up anything else. Sorry about the notification. 
Yeah, so caramel, citrus, some raspberry and vanilla. It's quite sweet. Mm. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think that's going to get nice um, over the next three, four days. That's going to, come, going to become a bit more complex. And um, yeah, those caramel notes are really, really nice. I find with this bean, if you if you if you do it too light, you lose that caramel, that caramel sweetness. So I think I've got the caramel sweetness right. It's just all the other flavors I think need to develop a little bit more. The citrus especially. Um, I'm getting some citrus, but I think it'll just get better over time. It's quite drying on the palate. Mm, one more sip. It's probably not sufficiently cooled yet. Mm. Some of that raspberry, a bit of sharpness coming out, a little bit of acidity making itself known. Mm. Mm, that caramel sweetness is lovely, just comes and returns. Nice sweet cup, perfect for any, any time of the day in my opinion. Anyway guys, so this is the uh, roast of the uh, Colombian uh, anaerobic, washed anaerobic. I think it's called Titamla Rizalda, I think. I my pronunciation is probably completely wrong. 86-point uh, uh, score cup score on this one, is my understanding. Um, Colombian Spirit, always a great company to get beans from, in my opinion. I've got some beautiful beans from them every time I, I've ordered from them. Um, so, yeah, anyway, quite happy with that turned out. Um, if you guys enjoy the content, just like and subscribe if you wish. Um, apologies that this is very shaky cam sort of thing. It's quite difficult in my kitchen. It's quite small um, And I don't really have the professional equipment to, to make professional videos as such but um, Yeah, so it's a basic guide on how to use your uh, the, the CR 600 as well, which I'm quite happy with but um, Yeah, perhaps I'll do another roasting video soon Anyway guys take care. Cheers